Hello again, everybody. Zach Attack is here with the attack line for Tuesday, January the 17th of 2012. All right. Let's get started with uh, some Lady Gaga news. Uh, Gaga's been, of course, been coming in love by Madonna. And she is, of course, been one of the most dominant people in all of social media. She's probably one of the most followed people on a uh, liked person on Facebook. And like I said, I said liked by accident, but she is now one of the most liked people and most followed people on Twitter. As Lady Gaga has declared 18 million strong of a little monster is following her on Twitter. She tweeted, Can't believe I have 18 million Twitter monsters. Really rad. It was just a few years ago, I had barely any. Behind Miss Gaga is Justin Bieber with 16 million, with almost 14 million, Katy Perry. Speaking of Katy Perry, leading to my next story about music leading to Katy Perry. Now, we all know what's been happening with Katy Perry. She divorced the Wasser brand. She was supposed to be at the People's Choice Awards. She did it, but she ended up winning five awards anyway. And the one that got away is definitely the one that's getting away from being number one. Uh, it's been price changed, remix came out, and it's still lacking. I think it was in the top five, now it's back out of the top five. Although it didn't release an acoustic version, the one I got away, acoustic version, and I heard a little bit of it, I liked it. It's better than the remix that they did with B.O.B. But that's not the only Katy Perry happening today. Katy Perry is probably one of those uh, such people today on Yahoo's being such... Katy Perry Sims. Now, the Sims are, of course, a role-playing game that's been a phenomenon since 1999. And that game, people, virtual reality people, I've had the game before, but I never really got into that kind of thing, that Sims thing. Similar people, but Katy Perry is getting involved in the Sims. TV up with them to make her own stuff, including a brand new expansion pack for The Sims 3. The Sims... Actually, Sims... Yes, yeah, Sims 3. Showtime, a brand new track pack. Expansion pack coming out this March. And Katie with her own avatar. Clothing. Stuff based on her albums. And, of course, her recent California Dreams tour will be in The Sims Universe. That'll be coming out this March. And, of course, like I mentioned, Katie will be in a campaign. According to a statement, Katy Perry stated, I love how you're able to play out different stories through your Sims characters. It's cool to see the Sims in stage performances and the Sims 3 Showtime decked out just like my tour, California Dreams tour. Even my Connie Candy video screens are in there. I really like to think of myself as a cartoon, and now I'm a Sim. She will closely with the Sims studio to create accessories, clothing, hairstyles, furniture, and props in the Sims games. And so big Katy Perry. They can pre-order the brand new track pack, Katy Perry Collector's Edition. It'll include a lot of Katy Perry downloadable content when you get the collector's edition. So there you go. Katy Perry are now working with The Sims. Now, on to wrestling news, starting with a little TNA update. But you're reading a lot about Mr. Kennedy slash Mr. Anderson. Now, I saw Mr. Anderson at the TNA house show in November, a couple weeks before he was on his last impact. And I saw him there. He was doing well. I think he was losing about his qualification to he, he won by DQ by Abyss in a house show match when I saw I got the review of that house show from Sony Eagle. Great show. I got to meet him, too. Very, very cool person. But apparently Mr. Anderson's not been on TNA television since November. Now, I'm reading a lot of reports that Mr. Anderson is apparently have nothing for him, according to TNA people. Several sources are saying that TNA simply has nothing for Mr. Anderson creatively. So that's why they're saying that that's why he hasn't been on TV in a while. Now, this rumor's flying that he's going to be back in the WWE, which many doubt because of what happened a couple years ago when he almost injured Mr. Randy Orton, which why he's been out. WWE. And it's so stupid that 
Innocent has been over with TNA ever since he came in the company. The asshole thing has been popping. You know, maybe they're like, oh, the asshole thing is getting a little old. Maybe we need something new for him. Also, a lot of reports of why he's not being used. He injures people too hard on people. You know, whatever with Mr. Anderson Kennedy, I would love to see him in WWE again, but I doubt it because, like I said, he burned his bridges, apparently, with WWE, so there's no way of WWE letting him back in. Although they let Foley back in. <laughs> but apparently, we'll see what happens with Anderson. I hope everything works out for him, but as of right now, he's not being used in TNA. Hopefully, he comes back to TNA on TV. Hopefully, Creative will have something for him. Kind of like WCW. Was have nothing for people. They fire him. So, we'll see what happens with Anderson in the future. Now, on the WWE news, as everyone knows, by now, Epico and Primo have become the new tag team champions over the weekend. They defeated A.O. Boom at a house show, and A.O. Boom lost the rematch last night, causing a lot of rumors about the team, specifically Evan Bourne's future. Now, I've read about uh, Evan Bourne getting a lot of heat backstage for whatever reason. He was suspended for 30 days back in November, and now just 24 hours following the rematch, we found out today that Evan Bourne has been suspended again, this time for 60 days. People are saying future endeavor indeed, and calling him Matt Hardy 2.0. You don't like Evan Paul, but it's like, come on, man. One strike, bad enough. Two strikes, oh my. You get a third strike like Chris Masters did, you're out. Because Chris Masters, I think, got suspended for 30 days. Then Chris Masters got suspended for 60 days. And then third strike, you're out. So, Evan better keep on his toes. Because if he gets one more caught with smoking that fake marijuana I've been hearing, he go bye-bye. So, and the only person I feel bad for is Kofi Kingston. He has done nothing wrong. You know, he hasn't been suspended or anything. And he's been a high guy. He's high when it comes to his career. He should be big. He should be bigger than what's been happening now. He's getting kind of punished by losing the tag titles for something he didn't actually do. So maybe now with Evans suspended again and without the tag team championships, maybe Kofi can finally focus on his singles career, especially heading towards the Royal Rumble. So we'll see what happens to Kofi in the next couple of weeks without his partner now suspended yet again. And like I said, Evan could get released again. Or he could get suspended again, then of course released. That's what everyone's thinking now. <laughs> but Evan Bourne getting fired. Now onto a little TV news. Tonight, this week, a lot of returns. Tomorrow night we have to be Turn of American Idol. Tonight, the return of one of my other shows besides Modern Family. Glee is back on tonight after a couple weeks off. Now, the last two episodes, I actually liked them. As you've been seeing on his attack line for the last couple weeks when Glee was on, I've been complaining about how the show has been over dramatic as of late. The last two shows, especially the Christmas one they did, was actually pretty good. But now with drama unfolding about the Miss Pillsbury's wedding proposal by Mr. Shu. Tonight, apparently, could see a lot more drama. But I'm looking forward to next week's episode. Tonight's episode be, should be okay. But looking forward to next week's episode because it's going to be the Michael Jackson episode. So I can't wait to see what they're going to do with MJ. But we'll see what happens on Glee. Will they bring back the comedy or bring back the drama? I say drama. Tonight on Glee at 8, 7 Central, only on Fox. That is it for the attack line. I'll see you all later. With that in mind, you have all been attacked by the news. Mom Zach, thank you all very much. Have a good day. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Yeah.